Good day, wonderful learners. Today we are on this platform again. We shall be discussing packaging criteria. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to define packaging, discuss packaging criteria, list examples of packaging materials, describe the packaging of specific farm produce with examples. What is packaging? Packaging is a process of enclosing farm produce or products in specially prepared containers such as boxes, carton, trays, and polythen sheets for easy handling, storage, distribution, and transportation. It helps in protection and standardization of farm produce in standard parks. Packaging can be done by the farmers, the processors, and other marketing agents, such as wholesalers. Factors that influence the choice of materials to be used for packaging. We can also consider this as packaging criteria. Number one, nature of the produce. When we are talking about the nature of the produce, we we'll look at it that different packaging materials would be needed for produce that are either liquid, solid, perishable, or non-perishable farm produce. The nature of farm produce, be it liquid, solid, or, or in a shape, can determine the type of containers to be used for their packaging. For example, solid like maize, beans can be packed in the bags, for both transportation and for sale while produce like palm oil in a liquid form can be packaged one in a bottle bulkiness or the size of the produce the size and amount of space that the produce can occupy while on transportation and storage can influence the choice of materials to be used for packaging. For example, farm produce such as yam and cassava are better packed in sacks and loaded into an open top container for transportation. Okay. Number three. Is a produce live, frozen or a dry stock? The choice of packaging materials is influenced by whether the animals are alive, frozen or dry. Just like dear old chicks are packed in special designed small cartons with openings for ease of transportation. Dry fish are packed in cartons, basket, jutes and polythene bags, while frozen fishes are packed in a in carton sealed up with the liner. distance to the market. Distance to the market can also affect or influence the choice of packaging material. The type of packaging materials to be used depend on the distance to the market. Materials that are durable with good stacking strength are used for distant markets, while flexible plastics or polythene bags can be used for nearby markets. Horticultural crops like tomatoes are packed in baskets, while onions are packed in bags and can also be packed in baskets. Reactive nature of the materials. Packaging materials should not react or stain the produce after packaging. Examples of packaging materials and their uses. There are different types of packaging materials, but we shall be looking at some of these packaging materials, their uses, and materials that can be packaged in them. Drums. Number one, we have drums. These are generally made of metal or plastic. They are cylindrical, strong, 
durable and therefore can be used for a long time storage. Materials that are packaged in this are palm oil, granite oil, palm kernel, soya bean oil. Number two, we have the barrels. These are made of wood or plastic with metal clips to hold the cover. Farm produce like palm oil, granite oil, palm kernel, and soya bean oil can be packaged in this packaging material. Cages, that's number three. Cages are used for marketing transportation of live animals such as domestic fowl, turkey, guinea fowl. Sometimes dogs can also be packed into cages. Baskets Basket are porous ventilated containers, usually made of wood, plastic or cane. Agricultural produce like kola nuts, pepper, tomato, fish, cocoa, fruits and onions can be packaged in baskets. Bags or sacks. Bags or sacks are woven fibers made in different sizes for packaging bulky produce or products. Example of farm produce pack, package in sacks or bags are yam tubers, dry chips of yam or cassava, plantain, cassava, cocoa, rice grains, maize grains, copy grains, pepper, and many more. Number six. Crates. These are often used under mechanized farming to move farm produce from one place to another. They are either made of plastic or paper, and they can be used for packaging eggs, fruits, tomato, pepper, and onions. Boxes. Boxes are cheap durable and available packages made of wood, plastic, cardboard and paper in different sizes. Agricultural produce like tomato, pepper, cabbage, maize, cowpea, soya beans, granite can be packaged in boxes. Canantine These are made of metals and they are used for packaging liquid or solid items such as fish, milk, meat, seeds and canned drinks. Bottles Bottles can be made of plastic or glass in different sizes. Liquid items such as oil, fruit, juice and other drinks can be packaged in bottles. We have paper or cartons. Cartons are made of paper, pulp into different sizes and shapes for packaging both solid and liquid items such as egg, milk, meat, fruit juice, fish and tomato. Polythene. These are mostly used packaging materials in the country. They are used to package agricultural produce such as rice, maize, cowpea, granite, soya beans, and onions. Constraints of packaging of farm produce. What are the constraints? Number one, the cost of production may be high. 
Choice of packaging materials is dependent on localities. Poor electricity supply has forced few packaging industry to fold up. Most of the farmers have inadequate knowledge of packaging materials for different farm products. Non-availability of packaging materials. Number six, inadequate technology to manufacture packaging materials. Number seven, lack of encouragement from government to local manufacturers. Number eight, poor quality of packaging products. Importance of packaging. Packaging make produce to store well. Packaging facilitate easy transportation of agricultural produce. Packaging makes products to be handy for easy distribution. Packaging makes products attractive and appealing to consumers. Packaging makes products to be convenient to buy and use. Packaging standardizes products for easy advertisement and conformity to regulations. Packaging protect product protects products from contamination. Packaging saves products from deterioration on account of weather. Packaging provides essential information for consumers and marketers. Packaging improves the shelf life of the products. Assessment Define packaging List four criteria for packaging Describe three constraints to packaging farm produce List five examples of packaging materials and suggest one produce that each is used to package If you find it difficult to answer this assessment question Go over the video again and I want you to know it will interest you to know that you can answer this question conveniently. Thank you for being on this platform. Have a great day.